Mesopotamia was one of the first major civilizations in the world. Many of the cultures and ways of this ancient civilization helped shape many of the other ones that started cropping up over in the world. Mesopotamia means the land between the river, referring to the Tigris and Euphrates. The reason for the early success of Mesopotamia is largely due to what's now called the Fertile Crescent, which is also known as the Cradle of Civilization. This is the area between the Tigris and Euphrates where many nutrients were carried in, allowing for crops to be grown with ease. In northern Mesopotamia, there were many hills and plains. This is where the early settlers settled. Southern Mesopotamia was made up of flat, barren plains and marshy land. After years of farming the same crops over and over, soil salination began to occur. This accounted for almost three-fifths of the population of Sumer to die. This epic story of Gilgamesh was one of the first myths and is now one of the most well-known ancient stories. The story goes that Gilgamesh was the mighty king of Ur and had a great friend named Enkidu. They conquered many beings which angered the gods. Eventually, Enkidu died of a sickness given to him by the gods to punish Gilgamesh. He mourns for a long time and decides to go on a quest for immortality. Along the way, he realizes that he needs to be satisfied with being mortal and returns to his city. The religion in ancient Mesopotamia was mainly polytheistic for thousands of years. Since it was the first major civilization, many aspects of the Mesopotamian religion trickled down to other major religions, such as Greek, Phoenician, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. There were over 2,100 gods in Mesopotamian religion, most of them based on the religions or cities of Mesopotamia. Since Mesopotamia was conquered by many different empires, many of the empires adopted the religion and culture of the Sumerians. Mesopotamians built pyramid-like structures called ziggurats. The astronomers were a special group of scribes who created the first calendar, which had 12 lunar months, and the Hebrew and Greek calendars based themselves off it. Mesopotamia, being one of the earliest civilizations, came up with much of the earliest technologies also. They came up with the wheel, sail, time as in minutes and seconds, and the plow. Their writing was originally pictographs, which were pictures describing what they wanted to say. It then evolved into cuneiform, which was triangular markings put on a tablet of clay. Cuneiform was said to come before the hieroglyphics and was one of the earliest forms of writing. The first people to settle were the Sumerians. They had city-states, and each city-state had a god. They were the start of civilization in 5000 BCE. The Achaemenid Empire conquered the northern Mesopotamia, while the Sumerians ruled the south. They had a similar government. Syrian the Great conquered the city of Ur and then proceeded to conquer all of Samaria. The Babylon Empire was the next empire to come to power. King Hammurabi took the throne and created the first written set of rules. Babylon was conquered in 1595 BCE. The Neo-Babylon Empire ruled again in 1616 BCE, in which Nebuchadnezzar ruled for 23 years. He was a great military leader and made the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. This was a very successful time for Mesopotamia. When Nebuchadnezzar died, the Persian Empire took over. The Assyrian Empire was the most powerful empire of all time. This was in 774 to 612 BC. There was many powerful leaders. The Assyrian Empire came into power three times. They conquered much of the Middle East the last time. The last king made a library in the city of Nineveh, which had at least 3,000 tablets that made up 10,000 texts. The next empire was the Persian Empire. The main leader was Cyrus the Great. This empire stretched 3,000 miles. The Persians fell to Alexander the Great.